Hey guys, I got an unboxing and quick review of the Escort Redline Radar Detector. Now I don't condone speeding or reckless driving, but I admit I do often go about 5 to 10 over. Most of my viewers are from the United States and know that this is pretty common, at least in my state and most states, and I fall into that category of people that are going about 5 over on a lot of smaller local roads or as much as 10 over on some highways. But very few police would ever actually give tickets for 5 to 10 over because most people realize, including police, that that's pretty common. It often seems like some speed limits are a little slower than the road could actually be. But either way, that gives any police a reason to pull you over because you are still breaking the law if you're going 5 to 10 over. Now I've had some instances where I was pulled over for just 7 miles over. For example, once I was going 32 in a 25 in a small town on a rural highway. Now, before and after the small town, it was 55 miles per hour, and I was actually just leaving the town, and I was speeding up, and a police officer clocked me at 32 in a 25. I ended up not getting a speeding ticket, but an unrelated ticket. What finally pushed me to get this radar detector was, more recently, I was on another rural highway, and that highway is 50 miles per hour, but as soon as you leave the small town, it is actually about 40 miles, or it is 40 miles per hour for about half a mile, and I was coming up to the 50 zone, and I had just sped up to 50 and set my cruise control. This was at night, and a cop coming the other way clocked me at 49 miles per hour. He turned around and followed me, and even though the next mile I was only going 50 in the 50 zone, he did clock me going 49 just before it. So he pulled me over and I ended up getting a $75 ticket for my license plate being out. So he was playing the nice cop saying he's not going to give me a speeding ticket, but he isn't going to give me warnings for both. So I finally decided to get a radar detector to help me avoid these unrelated tickets that I seem to always get slapped with when I get pulled over for seven or nine miles per hour over. Now I know a lot of people would just say the solution is don't speed, but I'll be honest, my driving habits aren't likely going to change anytime soon. You know, I don't consider myself to be that bad of a speeder. I typically will go about the same speed as all the other drivers, which around here is 5 to 10 over. So you can comment below and tell me not to speed, but that's not really going to change anything. And I think this is a lot more fun anyways. This gives me another excuse to review a product for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. So before I open it, I wanted to show some of the features on the back of the box. One of the main things about this design, or this uh, specific model, is it has the dual antenna design. So, Redline, or uh, Escort claims this, that this dual antenna design is what gives its great performance. Lists a few other things like patented digital signal processing to help uh, reject false, al false alarms, next-gen laser detection, Exclusive Total Shield technology, which is one of their trademarks. This helps you stay invisible from radar detector detectors, but a lot of states likely don't use that if radar detectors aren't legal, at least from my assumption. There's a few other things like mute, auto mute, clear digital voice alerts, performance options, high definition text display, which honestly it's just a pretty basic digital display. Brightness control says it's fully equipped with a manual and reference card <laughs> but of course there's the uh, suction cup mount, the pretty nice smart cord adapter which actually has some lights and buttons on the actual adapter. One year limited warranty 
And here's some technical specifications. If you want to pause it or read any of these, you can. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box now. Once you open it, there's actually a really nice case on the inside. It's a pretty heavy box. Right on the front, there's a booklet for the Escort Live app. So that's an app you can download onto your smartphone, and it gives you a lot of features you wouldn't have otherwise. What's really cool is it'll actually block out certain false alerts like Walgreens doors will actually send out a signal that trigger a lot of dash or excuse me not dash cameras radar detectors so the live app will actually catalog those false signals and block them out so you're not getting those false signals and thinking it's a cop another really cool feature is that if other drivers around you are using this app also and they spot a speed trap or something it'll actually alert you before you come up to the speed trap before your radar detector would actually detect it so that's a pretty cool feature there's a lot of other products listed or shown in here but I'm not gonna really go through those so like I said before the case that comes with it is really nice It'll help you transport it between different vehicles if you want to switch vehicles and still use this device. On the top it comes with a manual. I'm not going to go through this manual in the video, but it does have some recommendations and suggestions in here. Some technical specifications. Pretty much everything you would expect is in this manual. comes with a couple stickers also don't think I'm gonna really use those <laughs> so here's another little pamphlet advertisement for escort live I'm very excited to try that out so it comes with a suction cup mount and a couple extra suction cups but I actually have a mirror mount which I will show later in this video pretty soon the actual radar detector comes with the power cord plugged in. The power cord actually looks like a telephone plug. So the red line is supposed to be one of the most sensitive escort radar detectors or of any company, which is the reason why I got it. There are some other really cool escort radar detectors that have features that this one doesn't have, but I just wanted whatever was going to be most sensitive and this does support the app that I mentioned before. So the mount is actually really sturdy. I wasn't sure how sturdy these were going to be because it's just a small piece of metal, but either way I'm not going to use that suction cup mount in my car. So the power cord is a uh, sort of like a phone style with the uh, coil and I'm just gonna keep this in the case actually in case I wanna use this in another car because I do have a hard wiring kit which I'm also gonna show in this video but that is everything that comes in the box so this is the mirror mount Escort does advertise in the book a mount made by blend mount it also attaches to your rear view mirror but it was eighty dollars and that's a lot of money for just a mount so I ended up getting this one which was only thirty dollars I believe on Amazon and I'm struggling here to get it on because the clamp or the top part of that mount is really close to the part that sticks into it but You'll see later that you can actually pull it apart a little bit to make it easier. So here you'll see the mount actually covers the release switch, but you actually don't have to put it all the way in. If you put it three quarters of the way in and don't cover the switch, it'll still hold it just fine. And either way, you can still push the button. 
so hard to pull off because I didn't pull pull it apart yet but here's the actual mount has a couple hinges and it was a lot sturdier than I was actually expecting so I'm happy about that inside the bag there's a couple screws to attach those two main pieces and there's also a couple longer screws in case your mirror uh, has a lot bigger bar and here you can see how I pulled the mount apart a little bit so it makes it a lot easier to stick on so now I got this hard wiring kit I believe it was something like fifteen dollars on Amazon so there's some instructions shows the smart cord the regular cigarette adapter on one side and then this wiring kit on the other side so this wiring kit uses a ground and then the live wire actually connects to another wire so it comes with that little 3M clamp where it sort of clamps on to another 12 volt cable in your car the instructions here tell you how to install the cord with that little 3M mount so it just clamps onto an existing cord and then you plug the live wire in so I'm going to show how the different menus and buttons work on it now so when it turns on the default is going to be highway mode highway mode just has all of, all of the different features on and it's going to be the most sensitive but it could also give you the most alerts so some people prefer to switch it to auto or auto new X what I did there was I held down the volume and the sensor button at the same time for a few seconds and that gives you the option to go through all the different settings so when you tap the volume button that gives you all the different options and you can see the status on some of them then the sensor button will actually change the settings so below the actual buttons it'll say in the red letters review or change in abbreviations those are the functions when you're going through the settings the pilot just pilot setting just displays different text or features while you're driving normally a lot of these features yet I haven't really messed with myself just because some of this is or a lot of this is new to me so I'm still learning it some of these are just basic things like volume settings here you can see the different bands such as K band K band RDR I believe is what helps you block out unwanted unwanted alarms such as when leaky radar detectors accidentally alert your detector holding the volume button lets you go up or down and then just tapping the sensor button switches the main modes from highway auto or auto no X I believe the auto mode disables K and then auto no X disables K and X the point of that would be that not very many police actually use those bands they're not common so some people just want to have less alerts so they turn those off but if you leave it on highway mode it's gonna be the most sensitive and potentially protect you the best so escort recommends you just leave it on highway mode unless you really know what you're doing or if you really know your area and know that no K or X band is going to be used so this is how I'm going to have it set up in my car at least for now um, it's a little bigger and <laughs> in the way than I was hoping for but I decided to go with this because 
my back window is pretty high up relative to the front of my car and up there is really far forward so since this window is so slanted having it in the window might get in the way just as much because it's gonna have to be a third of the way up the window to even be usable I have this cord actually wrapped around once and then up through there and then all the way down to there so it's not hooked up yet so I'm going to show some footage of the actual device running in my car you'll have to excuse the shaky footage because I had my camera mounted from my moon roof so it's a little shaky but it does show a couple different bands and it shows me muting it too so you'll see how it'll go off like crazy but it's actually just one of those signs that is telling you your speed as you're coming into town I've been driving around quite a bit with this and I've only once actually had a cop using his radar but I wasn't filming that so I don't have any footage of that but this still shows what the device looks like and sounds like when it's running So overall I really like this device so far. Like I said before I haven't really detected many police actually using their radar or lasers yet. I actually haven't seen any cop use a laser yet but I think it can come in handy and like I said before I don't condone excessive speeding or reckless driving but at the same time these devices can come in handy still unless you live in Virginia or Washington DC where they're illegal I didn't have an opportunity to show the escort live software or app in this video review but I think after a while if I use it for a little bit I may put up a second video about that the main issue is I use it on my phone and I use my phone to record videos but also it does require a subscription service which I do not have for all of the features of it but it does look really cool and adds quite a lot of features if your device supports the Escort Live app the subscription service starts at five dollars a month I believe it's cheaper if you order a couple months at a time so if you're in the market for a device like this I would recommend it I suppose I've done a lot of research and from what I've read the really common Cobra detectors aren't even really worth it so I feel like if you're gonna spend money on a detector you might as well spend enough money on a detector that's gonna do its job as well as you're hoping it to be there are some detectors in the 150 to $300 range that could probably be pretty good still but I decided to just go with what was highly recommended. I paid $440 for this one on Amazon, but in the end, I am hoping it's going to be worth it, and 
it seems like a great device so it comes recommended if you like this video or any of my other videos please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks for watching